My name is Marshall Teller. I knew my new hometown was going to be different from where I grew up in New Jersey, but this is ridiculous. Nobody believes me, but Erie, Indiana is the center of weirdness for the entire planet. <laughs> Item. Elvis lives on my paper route. Thank you, little paper boy. Item. Bigfoot eats out of my trash. Item. Even man's best friend is weird. Still don't believe me? You will. library needed some fast cash to pay for renovations. So some of the old books that were down in the library basement got sent to the world of stuff and put up for sale. Huh. We're talking old books. Books that haven't seen the light of day in years. Simon, can we go already? But I gotta do this for my history paper. The jackalope and its relation to the federal deficit. Really fascinating, Simon. Let's go. Simon, it's her, Andrew Fantucci. Man, I'd sure like to meet her. So go ahead. What's stopping you? Nah, she's busy. I don't want to bother her. I'll get her for you. Miss, excuse me, miss. My friend wants to meet you. What? Nothing. Never mind. <laughs> You're a dead man, Simon. Simon, check this out. Mary B. Carter. It's got a real old stamp and everything. There's no postmark. I guess it's never been mailed. Maybe it's some letter written on someone's deathbed. Maybe it's got some weird secrets no one's heard in a hundred years. We should do the right thing and mail it, huh? You kidding? Let's open this baby. Gentlemen, thanks for the wake-up call. There he was, Trip McConnell. What was he? Some ghost that just appeared out of thin air? Some weird, eerie angel crash landing at the world of stuff? I wasn't sure, but all my instincts said one thing. Marshall, run away. Now, Marshall, you have to do a little favor for me. Um, no thanks. Let's go, Simon. creepy manga weird was happening at my house. A stranger had put my family under a spell. A gypsy? A gypsy. I can't believe Marshall never told us he knew a real life gypsy. What an amazing life you've had. You could write a dozen books on your experiences. You know, I am the lifestyle editor of the school paper and I would love to do a spread on you. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves come to Erie. Oh, that's a great idea. And listen, you know, if you need a place to stay... Yeah, why don't you stay with us? I mean, geez, you people are so nice. I'd love to live with you. Great, it's yeah. Marshall's room. We could put Marshall in the basement. Marshall, what is your problem? Why didn't you tell us you had such a cool friend? Yeah, Mars. Why are you keeping your old friend Trip McConnell a secret? Well, uh, the Trip's going to stay for dinner, of course. Oh, and then he's going to stay with us for the night. Oh, heck, he's so interesting, he can stay till he's 18. Why don't we go outside a second? I think we need to talk. 
okay, old buddy? But I'm having such a good time with Mom, you. Mom, Dad, excuse us. All right, who are you and what do you want? Yeah, talk. Mars, Simon, is that any way to talk to an old friend? You know, I've never seen you before today. And now you're in there turning my family into blithering idiots. <laughs> Mars, come on. It's not that hard to do. You want a fat lip? Marshall, take it easy. All I want you to do is help me with a little problem I'm having. You see, I'm in love with the most wonderful girl. Look, pal, I think you're trouble, and I don't want anything to do with you. And I'm for sure not going anywhere near any girl you know. You understand that? Okay, Marshall. But I'll be back. Too bad your friend couldn't stay with us, Marshall. Mom, trust me, you do not want him in our house. Well, that's a strange thing to say about your friend. That's just it. He's not my friend. It's like he appeared in my life today. Appeared? What is he, a ghost? I mean, did he just beam down from the inner moons of Saturn? Look, all of you do not, under any circumstances, let that bozo back in this house. That's an order. Trip's not a bozo. I miss him. Me too. Mars, are you okay? Mom, it's him. It's Trip. Thank goodness. Where is he? Hey, everybody, Trip's outside. Let's go get him. I'll race you, Dad. Where are you guys going? Get back here. That night, I had another one of my weird dreams. I think it had something to do with not wanting to grow up. Still, I was kind of enjoying the dream. Something happened that never happened to me in any dream I've ever had before. Hey, Mars. Cool dream. What are you doing here? This is my dream. You're not supposed to be in my dream. I said I'd be back. Gotta wake up. Gotta wake up. Not yet. Not until I tell you what you have to do for me. Mom, Dad, Cindy, tell him to leave me alone. But we love Trip. We love Trip more than we love you. Simon, help. I just hate being second banana on the show. What show? Mars, today at the World of Stuff, you found a letter. I once tried to mail that letter and I couldn't. Since you're the one who found that letter, you're the one who has to deliver it in person. But I don't have your letter. Sure you do. When you wake up, look at your nightstand. Wow. Even for you, that's a weird story. Don't believe it. I don't care. I'm telling you, this guy entered my dream last night. It's like he got into my mind, Simon. Delivering this letter will get rid of him. I'll do it. Why doesn't he do it himself? Why does he wear those goofy golf pants and have that dweeb haircut? I don't know. But this is it. Why don't we just leave it here? No can do. I have to deliver it in person, and Mary Carter has to read it. Can I help you? Yes, are you Mary Carter? Yeah. <sighs> this has caused me so much trouble, I can't even tell you. 
Here. I don't know what's in it, but I hope it brings you a long and happy life. Adios. Yes, I'm a free man. Oh, oh, wait a minute. This is for Mary B. Carter. I'm Mary C. Carter. Come on, you must want my aunt. As we walked deeper and deeper into that musty old house, I kept asking myself, Marshall, why are you such a bonehead? Auntie, there are two young men here. One of them says he has a letter for you. Hi. I'm Marshall. This is Simon. A letter? Don't make me laugh. I haven't had a letter since the dawn of the last Ice Age. Yes, ma'am. This letter's from Trip McConnell. Did you say Trip McConnell? Yes, ma'am. Here. You take that piece of paper out of my suit. You dirty, lice infected little rug rat. You think this is funny? I'm gonna pound you into mush. But what did I do? Trip McConnell should have been my husband. But Trip McConnell's been dead for 62 years! He's, He's a, a ghost! ghost. Ah, ah, ah. As soon as we found out that Trip McConnell was a ghost, Simon and I jumped into action. I thought garlic was for vampires. Ghosts, vampires, whatever. I can't be too careful. I don't get something. Why is he haunting you? It all has something to do with that letter I found. When I opened it, I must have disturbed his rest. It's like letting a genie out of a bottle or something. Cool. Yeah, it would be if he wasn't so evil. Be gone, ghost. Go away, demon of hell. Don't be a jerk, Marshall. That's for vampires. What's wrong? Never seen a ghost before? Now what about my letter? I've already delivered your stupid letter, and Mary Carter didn't want it, okay? She didn't? If I were you, I'd give up on this. She's an old woman, Trip. She's not the girl you used to know. You're kind of light, too late. Mary doesn't want me. <laughs> Enough already. Cut it out. Look what you're doing to my house. I'm sorry. Let's face it, I'm a walking disaster area. And the way I died was stupid. I was killed in 1929. I'd been in love with Mary since the second I saw her. But I was so shy, I couldn't bring myself to tell her. So I wrote her a letter instead. I was on my way to deliver it, but I was so in love, I didn't look where I was going. I didn't see that milk truck turning the corner. See, I'm not allowed to go past the spot where I was killed. I can't walk across the street to Mary's house, but you can. Please, you have to do this. I've been waiting for 62 years. Once that letter's delivered, I can rest. Oh, man. Why do these things happen to me? That night, Simon and I put Operation Lovesick into effect. It was a two-pronged attack. Okay, you get the door. Can I help you? My name is Matt. How are you? 
I am conducting a survey in your neighborhood. Would you mind answering a few questions? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Do you mind if I... Do you mind if I start over again? This time, don't say anything. Haven't I seen you before? I really didn't want to do this. But I guess there are some things you gotta risk your neck for. And I guess love is one of them. Who's there? I have perfect hearing. I also have a gun. A gun. You stop right there. Ah, you again. Please, ma'am. You gotta listen to me. I don't want to be doing this. Stay right there while I call the police. Troop wrote this the day he was killed. He died delivering this letter, ma'am. Don't you even want to hear what it says? Dearest Mary, love of my life. In this short letter, it will never be possible to say how much I love you. There isn't a single dictionary in the world that describes the love I have for you. Hello, Harry. Is this the eerie police? Please let me give you a lifetime of love and happiness. Let me keep away everything that is rough or mean or ugly from you. If this poor letter means anything to you, meet me at the World of Stuff tomorrow night, November 10th, 1929. Your devoted admirer, forever and ever, Trip McConnell. <laughs> he was always so corny. <laughs> All these years. Today is November 10th. Time to go for it. Okay, now be careful. I can't believe I'm doing this. You gotta be kidding. <laughs> Your trip, are you here? Give me a break. First, I can't get rid of him, now he won't appear. Trip! Where are you? Oh, I get it. He's expecting a pretty 13-year-old girl. All he's getting is a faded old bat. Well, I'm out of here. thinking of not showing up. I'm kind of nervous, Mary. Oh, Trip, you look great. How have you been? Well, I've been kind of dead, Mary. Of course. And you? Oh, I'm kind of old, I guess. <laughs> but still beautiful. Did you ever, you know, get married? Six times. Six times? Mary. 
None of them worked out. <laughs> they just weren't you. Jeez, it's good to see you again, Mary. Oh, it is. Maybe we should get out of here. Next day, everything seemed to be normal. Even that weird spell Trip put over my family was gone. I don't understand it. Why does my cereal taste like garlic? That is so strange. All my clothes smell like garlic, too. I just don't understand. <sighs> Me? Did I do something? You were on Vampire Patrol last night, weren't you? That's why the whole house smells like garlic. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Marshall, you gotta come quick. Something happened at the World Stop. What happened? Her heart must have just given up. Almost got him. Look. Marshall, now's your chance. Mm. Forget about it. <laughs> Go for it, Mars. Hello. What are you doing up there? It wasn't me. It was disgust. Hi. <laughs> I was pretty nervous. But Tripp and Mary had taught me what happens to people who wait too long. I didn't want it to happen to me. <sighs> Hi. I'm Marshall. I'm Andrea. Simon and I did pretty good. A nice young couple was finally reunited. Sure, they had to die to do it, but better late than never, right? And a letter written 62 years ago finally got delivered. <laughs>